from the streets. Slam from the streets. Slam from the streets. Slam from the streets. Somebody tell me who's more raw. In this name of basketball, let me show you. I bring it to you live like terror. Every time you try to guard me, your mechanism defenses when it comes to mind. I eat basketball, dream basketball. Shit basketball, live for basketball. So when you see me on the court, my attitude's fuck all y'all. I live for street ball. Separate men from mice. It's summertime. Niggas come in droves. Stereo crank with double D on the rhyme. Females yelling puffin' day. Don't come to the court with bullshit. Be trained for combat, wearing that flashy shit. Bragging and boasting, prove that. Use a 20 point a game, nigga. Wait, why did I figure that? One of them, I got cut from the NBA, nigga. Uh-huh. Why don't you stop on your track with no balls? When you check my drawers, you get hit in the face with basketball. Don't come on this court if you can't bring heat. Cause I'ma tell you right now, it's slam from the street. Don't come on this court if you can't bring heat. Cause I'ma tell you right now, it's slam from the street. Don't come on this court if you can't bring heat. Cause I'ma tell you right now, it's slam from the street. Don't come on this court if you can't bring heat. Cause I'ma tell you right now, it's slam from the street. A lot of niggas got served for trying to see these. Trying to ball with these. Wishing they could run with double D and his G's. Who told the Mary Jane that make the vocal kind of language stronger? Keep kicking and I'm sweating. Pulling weight like an ogre. An ogre. An ogre. Don't come on this court if you can't bring heat. Cause I'ma tell you right now. Slam from the streets. Don't come on this court if you can't bring heat. Cause I'ma tell you right now. Slam from the streets. Don't come on this court if you can't bring heat. Cause I'ma tell you right now. The most, I think the most important thing is that really that nobody gets hurt. I mean, we all have jobs, so I mean, we can't be out sick for, you know, a broken ankle like that. These games are well run. We play good, disciplined, unselfish basketball. Well, you know, life around here can be pretty tough. I mean, uh, you know, whether your wife's yelling at you about getting kids into the right private school or getting a third car, uh, you know, we all have problems. And the court, you know, it's, it's a sanctuary from all that. What's held in high regard is um, doing the intangibles. We set good back picks. We play good help side defense. Um, take charges. Oh, oh, yeah. wall. Oh, God. Oh. The wall, you know, he just plants himself in position like he was born there. Oh, oh, oh! Right. Charge. Right. And I've seen him take eight or nine charges in a single game. It's important to play good defense. Um, I'm not a very good offensive player because I have carpal tunnel syndrome for my for my I'm a C++ programmer. But um, so I just you know like I just I just do tough deep. They call me Streisand, because I have all kinds of range. They call me Abacus, because uh, you can count on me. They call me Mr. Saturday Night. Why? Uh, it's because I'm uh, Orthodox, and uh, I can't play during the Shabbos, and that goes Friday night to Saturday evening, and then I come back Saturday night, and I'm, I'm ready to go. So I usually play really well. I'm rested. Everybody has a nickname on the courts. It's part of the culture. In order for me to even play, I gotta come up with a nickname. So I've been working on getting a nickname uh, on my own. They call me the Waffle Iron because I make an impression. They call me the old briefcase because of my nasty handle. They call me the boat because uh, I'm like a boat in the water. I move fast, but it doesn't feel like it. I'm pretty serious about my practice. I mean, I have drills that I, uh, I got off TV. Uh, Suzanne Summers had a, a drill tape a couple years ago that I bought. Uh, when my ex-wife was living with me. And uh, I watch her tape for a couple hours and then, uh, and then I actually do her tape for a couple hours and then I watch it again. It's good tape.
I got it. You know, we're not hot doggers. There are people in this, you know, game that we play that have some skills, you know, definitely. They're athletes, but they don't have to prove it. You know, they don't have to show off. It's not about showing off. It's about, you know, playing, playing the game the way that, you know, Mr. Naismith wanted it played. I see these games sometimes, you know, on, on TV and stuff, and it's really sort of sickening. It's not the way that basketball should be played. You know, they're looking around, you know, they're dunk shots and stuff like that, and that's cool, but it's not really why we play the game. If you had to crystallize, why do you play the game, what would you say? Um, well, I, you know, I, um, I play the game for exercise, mainly. Somebody tell me who's more raw. In this name of basketball, let me show you.